Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. I was uh, listening to that part. Um, Down the Barrel LLC wants to know what's the craziest thing you've ever seen. Like, have you caught people with grenades, M60s, or something like that? Um, uh, oh, yeah. Well, it's okay. in the book. Just buy the book. Hold the book up. Hold the okay, book there up. you go. Yeah, we'll show the book once again. Right, there you go. Buy that book. Tell that dude to buy the book. Yeah, so there you go. But, uh, okay, since yeah. he asked, um, probably the craziest one mm -hmm. was uh, we had a suspect who was believed the Highway Patrol came to us. They'd had a couple of their Highway Patrol cars, um, grenades thrown on them. Oh. And at remote places, they weren't in it, mm -hmm. but it was, it became a problem. So they called ATF, the agent <laughs> and called me and said, I like how you put that. It became a problem. I said, <laughs> yeah, somebody's, uh, yeah, somebody's <laughs> going around. Yeah. They're well, tossing grenades. Gotta, on some of that you got to expect. Yeah. But really <laughs> in this case, um, they were concerned. They came to ATF in Oakland cause it was happening in the East Bay. Oakland ATF was able to identify a potential subject, um, possible suspect. Mm -hmm. He'd had some beef and, and voiced his beefs with the Iowa Patrol. Um, they lived down an old dirt road out in the country in a trailer. Mm -hmm. Long story short, I went out there and act like I was working on this house that was under construction, which by the grace of God, and I mean was that truly, the house was being built by one of the Contra Costa district attorneys. Wow. Him and his wife were building a house up the road from this guy. He had to go right by the house to go to his trailer. Mm. So we reached out to him and said, hey, can we hang out there for a day or two? So I was out there acting like I was pounding nails. And he drove by a couple times, waved, blah, blah. Next time he stopped, we smoked a cigarette. Mm -hmm. I got my way in. Long story short, he was making the hand grenades and delivering. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, hold on one second, one second. Okay, so I was assuming that you can just, like, you have to buy these things. Uh, I didn't realize you can actually, like, make your own grenades. Oh. Yeah, well, we're not going to go into that. I'm not the <laughs> and I'm not going to, like, help criminals. No, 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 no. I'm not saying, I'm but not saying. You can. Yeah. You, add, add, add a you buy a hollow grenade, and then the rest you can find on the Internet. Oh, Did wow. you so, anyway... This guy had been making them, mm -hmm. and uh, he ended up buddying up to me, told me about it. I said, I could use a couple of those, <laughs> and he said, come back tomorrow, dude, and I oh, came back. Man. And this I will tell you, for all you bombers out there or wannabe freaking anarchists, don't try to make hand grenades. You will kill yourself and blow yourself up. Okay, now that I said that, he's literally in there. Gunpowder is a very, very, very volatile mm -hmm. element. Mm -hmm. Heat, shot or, shock, or friction. Mm -hmm. Any of those threes can send it up. Mm -hmm. I walk into this guy's house, and he's drilling into a hand grenade body, one of the ones you can buy at a souvenir store. Mm -hmm. And he's already filled it with gunpowder. So that hot drill is going through there. Mm. And I was like, um, yeah, I got to go smoke a cigarette. And I walked outside and I was like, go now, go now, go now. Mm -hmm. um, this guy was like way off the hinges. Wow. Okay. Yeah. How did that go? What was your question, Patrick? I'm going to let you get that uh, question in. Did you ever – Did uh... Back then, did they have any sort of special like bomb training? Like, because so I, a friend of mine uh, is in the Marine Corps as a bomb disposal expert. So he went through all the, he came over one time and was like, Oh, yeah, I could make any, I could blow up anything with all the crap under your sink. Did you ever have to go through any of that training to like learn what oh, yeah. went into making them? Yeah, the, the, the ATF special aid and training goes through um, weeks and weeks of uh, arson and explosive training. We do we do demo blasts. We learn all about the different compounds that can be used to make improvised devices. Um, oh yeah, absolutely. And then we have 
we have a second tier of agents who are trained as um, enforcement uh, explosive officers, okay. EOs, explosive enforcement officers who have gone through other levels of training or were prior EOD or whatever. So we call that asset. I did that big case in the book where the dude, the bank robber showed up with all the military ordinance. I mean, Claymore, C4, TNT, uh, debt cord, fuses, fuse igniters. I mean, it was my holy grail. It was the biggest oh. <laughs> case I ever made of okay. ever and ever. And I was that close to being blown up because this guy didn't have a clue. Well, we had EEOs, our explosive enforcement officers, and EOD, like, in the staging area. So when the bus went down, somebody was going to be there to be able to take control and deal with all this explosive mm -hmm. ordinance. Yeah. So there was a bu So I'm assuming right there, um, there was a bust with where this guy, one guy had everything. He had all the, the things you're not supposed to have. In one thing, right? You talking about that one case? Yeah, I was yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. He was a bank robber. Him and his brother did federal time for bank robbery, mm -hmm. and he had just gotten out. Well, his mother had married an Atlanta police mm -hmm. department mm -hmm. clever EOD, EOD guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Here's his mom and her, his stepdad or whoever, whatever you want to call him. Mm -hmm. And in his basement, because he'd been EOD for all those years, he'd collected all this illegally. Oh, oh. But he collected, he'd taken it from search warrants or, or out at, you know, explosive bunkers or something. And he'd accumulate all this, which he was not allowed or supposed to have. Well, the kid gets out of prison, sees that, and sees a money, a payday, and that's mm -hmm. the informant. Um, I ended up in there trying to buy all that. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's crazy. Listen, for everyone who's hanging out with us right now, smash the thumbs up. So we need and appreciate those. All right, so help us out there. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.